What's up Transformers fans? Welcome back to another video and yesterday's fan stream was spectacular. Best we've seen in a while. They absolutely revealed a lot more plastic crack. I mean Transformers action figures both studio series and legacy alike. We got a lot to uh, to chew on here. So pre-orders are now live. Um, both Hasbro Pulse, Big Bad Toy Store, I believe Amazon, and even GameStop. Now, I cannot recommend GameStop enough. So, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. As you can see here, we got a lot of exciting stuff. We got Studio Series 86 Steeljaw, Bumblebee, Springer. We got even more Studio Series. And uh, just a whole lot to talk about here today. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and scroll on down. Um... This text is from yesterday. So earlier today, Hasbro revealed multiple new figures in their May 2024 stream. Now some of those items are going up for pre-order at retailers across the web. So blah, 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 blah. Listings, listings. So we will go ahead and scroll on down. Now I haven't seen these before. So these are still pretty new to me. So here's the Studio Series 86 um, Steel Jaw. Got a 360 degree view of him. And uh, pretty spectacular. I'm really happy that he comes with uh, one of Blaster's speakers that he used to fight Soundwave. Um, we'll have to wait and see if a second speaker will release with any of the other Autobot tapes, but we'll just have to see. So, scrolling on down, we have Studio Series 86 Bumblebee. And he's looking magnificent. They did say that he is not a parts former, which is awesome. And uh, he is designed after the Penny Racer, which is awesome. So I still don't think I'm going to give up my Netflix version because I love having the officially licensed Volkswagen version. But uh, the 86 Bumblebee looks great. I absolutely love him. Now here we have... The Transformers War for Cybertron video game Troop Builder. Um, so here he is, and he is basically just a heavy remold of the barricade figure that everybody doesn't like. So, I mean, he looks pretty cool. The vehicle mode especially looks great. So if you want to uh, build up your Decepticon troops in your collection, he is a great option. But for me personally, just meh. Again, I really, really wanted to collect and love the Gamer Edition figures, but they're just meh. But uh, Optimus and Starscream are the two best of the line, but I, I had them, but I just decided to stick with my G1. So Next, we have the Studio Series Bumblebee movie Skywarp, and he looks pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. I almost want to recollect the Bumblebee movie figures, and I'm just a sucker for Seekers, you know that all too well, so he looks fantastic, he could use a lot more purple to be honest, but he looks great, I mean the Starscream mold of course always looks fantastic, so moving on here we have Studio Series 86 Springer, which is a partial remold of the Siege figure. And uh, he's pretty much the exact same figure, except a bunch of tweaks here and there. As you can see, the alt modes are exactly the same, except for a couple added bits. The uh, propeller blades are a lot different, and they actually combine into a single blade rather than just the twin swords. Uh, he does come with a screen-accurate sword. He comes with that torpedo that we saw, and uh, just he, he looks spectacular. He looks like more of a um, animation accurate model and uh, I'm pretty excited for him. I know a lot of people are upset that he's not a complete and total remold but honestly I think this works for me. I'm I'm a fan of the, uh, the Siege mold um, but every critique that I had for that particular figure it seems has been rectified with this brand new one. It's got a couple of uh, um, extra added bits to it we'll get into a little bit later but moving on we have the 
comic edition figure here looking great you can definitely tell um, that he is a heavy retool of the legacy slash kingdom Galvatron figure and especially with that alt mode definitely Galvatron but very well done in my opinion I know a lot of people are looking forward to that guy and um, um, he'll look great alongside the shockwave and the grimlock figures so so moving on we have a lot more product images we'll just go ahead and scroll on down and get a better look so um, first off there is the packaging for 86 steel jaw um, very much looking forward to him it's about time we are getting more Autobot tapes and steel jaw is definitely a character that I'm hoping to add to my collection very very soon so um, there we have a much larger image of the character himself and just by looking at these pictures I'm wondering how he actually transforms now you can tell right here that the face splits just like that right down the middle they got these uh, weapons that are actually pinned on and um, I feel like this transformation is uh, going to be very interesting so and there he is in the cassette mode. The one thing that does really, really bother me personally is that this side is not painted in that gray like this side is. It just really sticks out. So, um, But with a little paint, you could easily rectify that, but still. Um, you could see how Steel Jaw's face just splits into two parts just like that. So I'm very, very much looking forward to uh, seeing the transformation. So uh, here we have the uh, Decepticon soldier for War for Cybertron, the video game. You know, not bad. It really has a, like a Mandalorian looking head right there. But you see these guys everywhere in the game. And I'm wondering why Hasbro decided to go with this character right now. Maybe it was just an easy retool of the barricade. Um, I thought they would go for more iconic characters. Um, but so we're getting another troop builder. I mean, we can always use more troop builders, but that vehicle mode looks really impressive in my opinion. I love the coloration, um, but I think the wheels are a little bit bland. I, I think the colors could have been darker. Um, maybe the uh, purple would be more vibrant. The uh, the gray would be a lot darker, perhaps, but. All in all, looks pretty good. It does kind of suck that he does come with this very same blaster that Barricade did, but oh well. Got another image of the robot mode there. Um, waist up, he looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But waist down, you can see a lot of those parts just hanging off. And how hollow those legs look. Um... It, I just feel like some of these figures are getting cheaper and cheaper. But if you like them, fantastic. If you don't, well, don't buy them. So, <laughs> I mean, just tell to, to tell you the truth, yeah, just don't buy them. So, there we have Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Sky Warp, and he looks so badass. I love the artwork there on the front, or the image on the front. And between Thundercracker and Skywarp, I always go for Skywarp because I love the purple, I love the coloration, but uh, there's the alt mode there. Um, I would definitely prefer black over this uh, bland gray plastic color. I mean, keep all this, you know, gunmetal gray. Keep all that, but uh, trade that lighter shade of plastic with black. Then he would look much better in my personal opinion but this mold is an impressive mold for sure he looks very imposing very nice very nice display piece especially when you collect all the others so moving on we will talk more about 86 Springer now right off the bat you can tell that the shoulder pieces are now angled uh, very different to the siege version new molded chest as you can see I believe that head is exactly the same um, brand new forearms and you can see here on the wonderful artwork that he does come with that tiny little blaster that comes out of the arm 
and that is included in this figure. So again, pretty much the exact same alt mode, just a couple tweaks here and there. You can see how much different the propeller is compared to the Siege version. Um, you know, this piece and this piece can articulate and move around. You can swing that piece around, forming one singular blade as opposed to the twin blades. So you can see the car mode. You can see just how that works out with the sword. And you got these added bits on either side. And in my opinion, that looks a lot better. Uh, the front wheels, I believe, are different. Um, you know, different molding, especially up front. But in the back, in this section here, is exactly the same as far as I can tell. But the robot mode, you can see he does come with the sword as seen in the movie. He does come with a hammer. And in this picture, it, it doesn't show, but he does come with that torpedo that he holds during his famous quote, I got better things to do tonight than die. So, to be fair, this is a Voyager class figure, but being sold at a leader class price point, and in my opinion, that really sucks, but... The extra $20 you're spending is because of the extra added accessories, nothing more. Maybe the all the tweaks in the transformation, but it still kind of sucks at the end of the day. So, and uh, next up, we will take a look at Straxus, looking really cool. A lot of people are very much looking forward to Straxus. Painted up, as you can see in the comic colors, to really homage that. And you can see the side art right there looking fantastic. So, go ahead and get rid of that real quick. But, there we have Straxus in alt mode. Very, very much like Galvatron, but a lot of extra added bits, a lot of changes, a lot of remolds. And I'm really digging that that comic book aesthetic. So there we have that. We have a much larger image of him in robot mode. So, but yeah, it just look very very imposing. You can see the Decepticon symbol right there on his forehead. So next up we have 86 Bumblebee, a character I'm very much looking forward to, especially because he is a completely new mold. There is not a single piece from the Netflix mold or the Cliff Jumper mold, whatever you want to call it. We got a brand new blaster um, and the windows as we could see are done in a very, very dark uh, gray instead of a blue, but they did explain that in the fan stream. Uh, something to do with all the, the parts and everything just wouldn't match up, but you know, the box art looks incredible. I love the artwork of Bumblebee right there. Studio Series 86, number 29. And, uh, yeah. And, again, we see the return of the open window packaging, just like Springer. Um, so, hopefully that will be rectified very soon. Last we heard was sometime this fall. So, we got a few more months left to put up with that. But, but yeah. Go ahead and move on and look at his beautiful looking vehicle mode. And I don't know what it is about the people who, you know, take these photos, but they sort of kind of mistransform it. You can see some open gaps right there. But anyway, nonetheless, the Penny Racer, um, the Penny Racer vehicle mode here looks fantastic. I'm very excited for it. You know, very misproportion from the actual Volkswagen just as seen not only in the uh, 86 movie the cartoon and the actual penny racer which they decided to model after but very very happy he's a brand new mold and not just a cheap recolor so and the best part he does have extra articulation here but he is not a parts former, so I imagine his backpack will just simply fold up and cover his head instead of uh, just popping off the back and just putting it back on once you transform him. So that'll be really nice. So we got a group shot of a lot of them. 
But that is not all the news that we have today. We will scroll on down wherever the heck I saw that. Um, we'll just have to back out of here. So there's something else. And that is what we are getting in the pipeline. We have a, another G1 Optimus Prime that we are getting. I believe this is the one that they were talking about for Hot Wheels. Um, either that or this can be a completely different one modeled after the Generation 1 um, toy and not the cartoon. Um, we have a lot more things to go over here. I'm very excited about the Leader Class Soundwave, which they did confirm that this Leader Class Soundwave is, in fact, the Netflix Soundwave, but uh, repainted. But this one will include three cassettes just to justify that Leader Class price point. It is unclear at this time which tapes we are getting with Soundwave, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I pray to God that Buzzsaw is one of them. But um, I know we're getting a Rat Bat uh, coming up pretty soon with that three pack of uh, Rat Bat, Ram Horn, and Perceptor. Yeah, we got a double and triple dip with Perceptor, so there's that. Uh, I'm pretty excited about Quake right here, so I'm looking forward to Quake, but uh, we see uh, Animated Motor Master right here, uh, of course will be a recolor slash slight remold of the Animated Optimus, very great figure in my opinion, and I am personally excited for uh, Slipstream. She's going to be a repaint slash remold of the Windblade figure. So, very excited for Slipstream, but that will pretty much do it with the news roundup. We got a lot to look forward to. Uh, Pre-orders are available now for all those that was in the stream, so go out and get your pre-orders in. But that will pretty much do it for me today. If you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you enjoy content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I will talk to you later.